Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use routing feature in Angular. Angular routing is uh, nothing but uh, which helps you to create single page applications in Angular. And using this one, uh, we can create uh, different URLs for uh, different uh, components or contents in our, our application. So as I said in single application, we don't redirect to another page like a normal HTML page where uh, for every link we go to another page where it uh, takes more time in loading. But when we come to single page application within a one page, we'll uh, load different components uh, based on uh, our requirement. So in this example, I will show you uh, with uh, this basic example how we can implement that uh, routing functionality in angular usually uh, while creating any new angular project angular will ask you whether you want to include routing option in your application or not if you have given as yes as you can see app routing module .ds file that might have created already so if you have not created you can use a command ng generate m m for module app uh, hyphen routing uh, hyphen hyphen flat equals to true uh, hyphen hyphen module equals to app uh, to create a separate routing file in our application as while well, creating uh, my application i have uh, chosen for uh, yes options i got app hyphen uh, routing dot module dot ts file so i will use that one only for this example let's create uh, two components uh, first to see how routing works in angular the first component I will create is ng generate uh, c component component one press enter. So first component is uh, created now. Let's create another component using the same command ng generate c component two. So another component is created now that is component two. We can use these two components uh, just to test uh, uh, routing or feature in Angular. Let's go to component one HTML file. Here we can see component one works. Content is there. Similarly, if we go to component two, component two works. So that is the content we have here. Once we apply routing in our application, so when we click on component one hyperlink, component one works content should be displayed. And similarly, if we click on component two hyperlink, this content that is component two works should be displayed. Now we are ready with uh, two components. So let's go to app routing module. Here we can see routes and router modules which are imported here. These two are the modules which are needed for using routing purpose. And routes that is the variable which is created here in which we are going to define uh, paths and uh, related components. And uh, to work this uh, uh, routing properly we need to export uh, router module here. So that is defined here. Similarly, another important thing here is router module for routes. So that is uh, imported here. So as I said, routes is an object where we are going to define our paths and compo related components. So that is the main thing in this application. So let's go and define uh, paths uh, and uh, related components for both component one and component two. So just you need to write as path colon. So here you can give a name for first component. Here I'm giving it as component one. The related component we need to add it here. Just I will add import statement so that uh, then I can use it in component. Uh, so first we need to import. So I'm going to import component one, which is from component one uh, component, which we have created just now. Let's import component one component. So just copy that one and paste it in the first path which uh, we have given as component one. Similarly, we need to add it for second component. So we are going to add path component two. So similarly, we are going to import uh, component two, which we are going to import it from component two. That's another component. Copy component two component and paste it in the, for the second path. So now we have defined component one component for the path component one and similarly component two component for uh, component two so now we are done with the defining path in routing module let's go to html template file app dot component dot html where we need to define the links here i am going to use unordered list within that one i am going to add two lists here 
so first list uh, is for component one so similarly second one is for component two so the next thing is we need to link uh, the path which we have defined in uh, uh, routing model here so that it will interlink so we need to define those uh, in a list component here so here we'll use a router link uh, which is a predefined keyword which we need to use uh, to link between uh, the path defined in uh, ting module file and uh, html template so i have pasted for both so now go to routing module and check for component one what is the path we have defined there copy that one and come back to html template file and paste it here for the first link similarly for component two copy and paste it here and there is one final step which we need to add it here that is we need to add router outlet just define that one after your links as defined just add it into your uh, file so now we are done with uh, uh, interlinking the HTML links with the routing. So just save both the files using save all. Then run the application using ng serve hyphen hyphen open. So once it's compiled, uh, it will automatically open in browser. As we can see, we have two components here, component one and component two. The content which is related to component one and two are not yet displayed here. So once we click on component one, as we can see here, component one related content is being uh, displayed at the bottom. Similarly, if you click on component two, component two related content is shown here. That's it guys, how we can implement a routing feature in Angular application. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on like button, uh, share it to others and subscribe to my channel.